Aceterra taps Polygon to launch Europe's first regulated marketplace for tokenized ROS. Asset tokenization, RWA tokenized funds, the platform will enable the trading of tokenized securities, funds, and money market instruments. Last updated. September 25th, 2024 at 1256 GMT3. Our author Ruholamin Hakshanas. Our author Ruholamin Hakshanas about author Ruholamin Hakshanas is a contributing crypto writer for Crypto News. He is a crypto and Binance journalist with over four years of experience. Ruholamin has been featured in several high profile crypto author profile share copied last updated. September 25th, 2024 at 1256 GMT3. Why trust Crypto Nubuas with over a decade of crypto coverage? Crypto Nubuas delivers authoritative insights you can rely on. Our veteran team of journalists and analysts combines in-depth market knowledge with hands-on testing of blockchain technologies. We maintain strict editorial standards, ensuring factual accuracy and impartial reporting on both established cryptocurrencies and emerging projects. Our long-standing presence in the industry and commitment to quality journalism make Crypto News a trusted source in the dynamic world of digital assets. Read more about Crypto News Asetera, a blockchain-based investment and trading firm, has partnered with Polygon to launch Europe's first regulated marketplace for tokenized real-world assets, RUS. The platform will enable the trading of tokenized securities, funds, and money market instruments in a secure and efficient digital environment. Aceterra will use Polygon's Ethereum scaling network to provide fast and cost-effective transactions while using stablecoins for purchase, clearing, and settlement processes. Aceterra is regulated under MIFID II. The Austrian firm is already regulated under the MIFID II framework and holds a virtual asset service provider VASP license. It is now preparing to comply with the upcoming markets in crypto assets MICA regulations which will allow it to expand its services across the European Union. The platform is accessible to both retail and professional investors, reflecting a growing trend in the tokenization of traditional financial assets like bonds and commodities. The process, which brings traditional assets onto the blockchain, promises increased speed and transparency in our trading. MIFID II does not offer a clear definition of a financial instrument, but instead provides examples, leaving the specifics to be determined by individual countries. In April, the European Securities and Markets Authority, ESMA, issued a consultative document to address this ambiguity. In a collaborative effort in July, ESMA joined forces with the European Banking Authority and the European Insurance and Occupational Pensions Authority to revisit the classification of crypto assets. Meanwhile, provisions under the MICA regulation concerning stablecoins took effect on July 1, preceding other aspects of the regulatory framework. This resulted in an immediate reshuffling of the market, with non-compliant stablecoins being restricted in Europe and new compliant stablecoins being introduced. Tokenized asset market could reach $1.3 trillion by 2030. Some in the crypto community have cast doubt on a recent projection suggesting that tokenized real-world assets, REOS, could reach a staggering $30 trillion by 2030. Among the critics is Jamie Coates, chief crypto analyst at Real Vision, who believes that a more realistic valuation is closer to $1.3 trillion. Coates pointed out that if the current compound annual growth rate CAGR of 121% for tokenized assets continues, the market could indeed reach $1.3 trillion by 2030. Coot's cautious outlook is echoed by other industry experts. McKinsey and company recently reported that tokenized financial assets have had a cold start, but are still expected to grow to a $2 trillion market by 2030. Meanwhile, a report by the Global Financial Markets Association, GFMA, and Boston Consulting Group estimates the global value of tokenized illiquid assets will reach $16 trillion by 2030. Even more conservative estimates from Citigroup suggest that $4 trillion to $5 trillion worth of tokenized digital securities could be minted by 2030. Recognizing this potential, major companies are making significant moves in the tokenization space. Goldman Sachs, for instance, plans to launch three new tokenization products later this year, driven by growing client interest. Follow us on Google News.